Hi guys and welcome back to this phone hunt or welcome to this phone hunt if you're new in my channel no new Romano English yeah anyway let me show you what I've got and uh, I may not look excited but uh, well what I found from flea markets isn't exactly too wow anyway I'll show you and explain along the way so let's go so how should I start it well, from the Bininging. First one, I have here an HTC iMate. J main, I'm guessing this is the carrier. The battery is wall and I disassembled it. I maybe I'll do some uh, refurbishing on it. I couldn't start it. The only thing I could possibly do is a widescreen. But uh, that doesn't mean it's damaged. I think it, it wasn't uh, charging, I, say, I guess, properly. It even, has, it even has the stylus. Yeah, so this is the first one. Next up, I have this uh, Samsung. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember which one it is. So, GTI 5700. It's, uh, I did not know this, but it's on a boot loop. It's brain dead and the bootloader is not working. I can't uh, actually go in recovery mode. Sorry, not bootload. Recovery mode doesn't work. So, yeah, at least the back cover is decent and the sides and also the task is cracked here. Yeah, too bad, but for parts is good. Next up, I have a Nokia C2, uh, C5, sorry, C5. That looks good enough, but uh, like, I don't know what's wrong with these C5s. All of them have uh, task screen problems. This one works fine when I first start it up and then uh, it won't press correctly. I, it's either a touchscreen problem or a mainboard problem and I'm afraid to find out which one it is. Again, four parts. Next up, I have a Sun Ericsson Xperia ST21i. I don't know the exactly model name, but this one works. I even managed to hard reset it, so let's turn it on just for the fun of it. It vibrated, it should turn on. There we go. While it turns on, let's move to the next phones. Now I have here a Sun Ericsson K610i. Uh, let's give it a test. I don't know which SIM card it accepts. Don't know why I thought it would start. There we go. I knew it started once. Double vibrated. Oh yeah, I believe it's brain dead. It's only a white screen. Now I remember. I'll leave it like that for a second, maybe something happens. Let's look at the Xperia. This one works fine. Android device. Actually, let me check again. I believe it's Android 2 or 1. About phone, it's even in Romanian. Oh, 404. So it should be a ice cream sandwich. And it's working pretty good. Well, because it's outdated, many apps won't work anymore. And I'm talking like uh, Facebook, Shazam, stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. So let me turn it off to preserve the battery. <laughs> I like this animation when you lock the screen. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah, so this one is dead. White screen of that. Next, I have here a Sun Ericsson K660i. What I forgot to mention is that this phone and this phone and the rest that I'm going to show now, I got as a gift from a friend. Uh, I believe it's locked in a foreign network and I don't know which one. Yeah. I don't even remember if it starts. Oh, it vibrated. That, that's a good sign, usually. The buttons light it up, but the phone don't display. There we go. Well, this one is loading. Let's get the next Sun Ericsson. <laughs> Dang it, I said what it is. It's a K200i. Simple phone. <clears throat> and it died, eh? Yeah, I remember. 
it tries to turn on but then it dies well four parts i already have two of these <laughs> in good condition let's turn it on inactive sim <laughs> and while that it's happening the next sunny ericsson it's a walk man and i forgot i'll be honest with you i forgot the model it's the W200i, <laughs> this is the K200i, this is the W200i, interesting, then will it accept orange, now this one should accept Vodafone because it has Vodafone written on it, My god, it's so loud. So it's locked in orange. Nice. Interesting menu. <laughs> so it works fine. Nice. Now it's turned off. Good. Now this guy here. The backlight is on, so we should turn on. Man, this screen is so mate. So, oh. The backlight, it's a. It's low and I believe the buttons are not pressing correctly and this is the Vodafone team okay yeah up and left is not working but down and right it's working yeah it's the power phone is miserable <laughs> and the back is not working okay yeah I'm not gonna waste my time with it next a Nokia 6234 I believe I forgot the model man 6234 yeah and I believe it's dead wait, wait, wait. let me look for a battery one second I've put a battery on but on I mean in nothing happens so it's kind of corroded no memory card, no, no surprise. Yeah, well, for a display or something, it's good. And the last one, it's a Vodafone phone, which is usually made by ZTE. Yeah, the battery is too dead, and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't curious to start this up. I'm, I mean, yeah, it's not the types of phone that I usually get but since I have it I'll keep it I'm not curious to turn it on I think you're not curious either so now so these are these are from a flea market these are as a gift and now what I got from another flea market it's an Ericsson J110i this one should work it's always these guys that are the basic phones that are working I mean, it's not a bad thing, but... Uh, oh yeah, it's, it has a display problem here. Correct SIM card. Hmm. What, what may that be my G? Well, my P in this case from phone. I know I put a SIM card and it worked. Uh, I don't remember which. So let me try a this type of SIM card. If it still doesn't work, then that's that. I already have one that works, I think.
Code accepted and insert scene car. Well, yeah. So I, I don't know in which network it's locked, but it works. And it needs a display. <laughs> Next up I have here is Sun Ericsson K550i that it turns on, but I can't put a SIM card in because I just noticed this when I got home. How did I not see it? Oh, and they are snapped from here from the main board. Right. Ooh, a memory card. 512 megabytes. What secrets do you hide? <laughs> Sorry, that was creepy. But yeah, I mean, if I put a battery in, See, turns on. This is so annoying. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's uh, locked in a network, so yeah. Wait, I forgot that I'm gonna zoom in on the image. So let me do it like this. Next up, another Sony Ericsson. This is a Walkman. This is a Walkman, the W800i. I already have one of these, but what's bad about having a spare, right? <laughs> Don't remember exactly if it works. SIM cord, yeah, clearly locked in a, another network, so. But it, uh, it starts, that's a good thing. Next up, it's a Nokia, which I don't know the model, honestly. But when I saw it, I did remember that I have a spare body shell here laying around and I said, why not a Restoration video. This is one of the simple Nokia's, so shouldn't be even something hard. I just wish I I hope I bought the right one for the body shell. Great! Ugh. And it wasn't even for it. Oh come on! Here it is. How to drop things with Andre. Oh, the button's turned on, okay. <laughs> a valid SIM card. Let me guess, it has to be an orange. After I struggle to put this one in. Let's put an orange in. Try again. Now it works. It's okay, pretty snappy. <laughs> yeah, so this one works. I think the speaker might have some problems. But meh, that's that should be fixable if it's not a software issue. Then I have another Nokia, the 1680C2, I think, C2, yes, now, Vodafone, okay, this should work. Get in here, you bad boy, yes. Mm, the screen is yellowish down there, but other than that, That's a good sign. Of course, it's a personal photo. But the phone works. The button is not exactly pressing too good. The center one, that is. 
Yeah, so it works. Turn it off. Yeah, this one is in miserable condition. And the last one that I have is a Sony Ericsson C901. Yeah, I didn't know about this model. It looks nice and partially bad, but I don't have a battery cover for it. And I believe it's in some sort of boot loop. I'm not sure. believe the buttons weren't pressing correctly. Managed to start it while charging it. Yeah, it's not starting now, but it started first time. And I'm gonna try to harden it. If it doesn't want to turn on, it won't turn on. I just didn't see this model before and uh, had to have it, you know. Right. Well, these are the phones that I've got. And I have another thing to say. So let's look face to face. What are the thoughts on this phone? These are mm, not, I can't actually call it a too successful hunt, but uh, some are good for parts and that's why I initially bought it. That uh, I made and Sony Xperia, it's what I've actually liked and I'm happy that they work. Well, the Sony Xperia works, but uh, I made, I need to do something about the battery. Yeah, and when I said that uh, that's all for today, I kind of lied. I also got something that's valuable to me because it represented my teenage years from 8th grade up until 11th grade. And that is the Sony Ericsson V630i. Not this package with the speakers, not the music edition one, the standard one from Vodafone. This is brand new. I bought it from uh, an awesome uh, seller from eBay, link uh, in the description and also in the comment section on uh, its eBay, his eBay page where he sells a lot of uh, <laughs> new old phones <laughs> in the box and with accessories and it's pretty awesome. And uh, this phone made me nostalgic, I almost shed a tear. Well, it's, I'm going to have to explain to you a lot in the next video when I, when I'm going to unbox this beauty. I remember the, let's say, good part of my life. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching today. Do you, did you have these phones when you were young? Or do you have them in your collection? Leave a comment. And also, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like. Maybe consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. And I wish you a very awesome day just like yourself and all the best. Man, I love this. It's so big. That's what she said. Bye.